All right, so the uh, fly that I'm going to be tying today is my variation of a caddis merger pattern. I started with a size uh, 14 scud hook on the vise here. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using is olive colored uni thread, and this is a 6 0. And we're just going to start by putting down a base layer of thread. I'm going to go about three quarters of the way and then stop. And the first piece of material we're going to be tying in is some virtual uh, nymph skin. And pull back real hard and make some wraps around it here. Okay. And then what you want to do is wind your thread back up to the eye and you can catch this little excess here make sure it's nice and tightly wrapped in all right you get you a pair of hackle pliers just makes the wrapping a little bit easier and you want to go in with some pretty tight wraps even from the get-go Since I'm using uh, nymph skin that doesn't have any color added to it, the green thread is going to show through it a little bit, and then I'm going to come back with a sharpie and add a little extra color. Right, so you unwind your thread a little bit, and then catch your nymph skin in here. Two or three really tight wraps should be able to hold it in place just fine. I'm going to cut away the excess. I'm going to get some sharper scissors. All right, and then just clean up around the head here. Make sure it's nice and even. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of space to, to work with here. We're going to be tying in a bunch of material and you don't want to overcrowd the eye. Um, so for the coloring, I'm going to be using a yellow Sharpie. Now with this yellow Sharpie, I've gone over some uh, previous patterns that I've colored them in with green. So it's not quite yellow. It's got kind of a greenish hue to it, which actually works out really well. I got the inspiration for this pattern after fishing the Holston River and there's a real good uh, caddis hatch and um, a lot of the ones I managed to scoop up out of the water had this greenish yellow brown kind of coloring to it and then uh, we're going to go through with a brown sharpie and I'm just going to do one little swipe down the back And you can see there just one little strip down there. Uh, next thing we're going to be tying in is a little bit of dubbing and for this I have um, some squirrel hair and you're going to treat this just like you would a rabbit mask. You just want to kind of pluck away at some of the fibers. You really don't want to get a lot of that fluff you're more mostly looking for those stiff hair fibers there we go just add a few there and that's just going to help imitate the um, 
the legs a little bit. Next we're going to tie in the antenna and for that I have mayfly tails. Um, you can definitely use other um, different materials for it, some pheasant tail fibers. Um, I just like the way that these look so I'm going to go ahead and use them. And as far as length goes, um, I'd notice from the caddis that I've caught out in the wild, um, you want them to be about the length of the body. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start to tie them in. And since I've tied this pattern before, I kind of have an idea as to how long they'll come out. Um, but if they're a little bit longer, that's fine. It, it's no worries. So one or two loose wraps and then you come in and kind of reposition them. In the end, if they're not quite sitting where you want them to be, you can always just take some super glue and a little spot will help keep them in place. go and then we'll wind our way back to where we left off with our dubbing snip off the back end of the mayfly tails that we tied in okay and then the next thing we're going to tie in is the deer hair um, you don't need a lot of deer hair as you're just going to be using this to kind of form a body so you can see here I've got a small little clump that I've stacked up and I'm going to go ahead and trim away the tails of them. So I just have a little, little piece here. And this one might even be a bit too long. There we go. So we'll place it, make sure we're staying back from the eye. You don't want to place it over top where it'll crowd it. Right about here is fine, and before I tie that in, I like to spin my thread counterclockwise. It'll just help with the wraps. So one loose wrap, and then with the second one, we can come in a little bit tighter, and the third one will tie down real hard. Now it's gonna poof up, but that's fine. And then we're gonna tie in uh, the wings. Now this step is optional, this is more for looks, um, but for that, I've got a uh, rooster cape here and you can see these small little feathers uh, is what I've uh, been using so you just take a few out and um, in order to get them ready what you want to do is just kind of pull back on these fibers here just to give you the desired length that you want and you can rip them out one wrap there and when it comes to tying in these wings uh, your first couple of wraps make sure they're pretty loose because you are going to want to adjust them to make sure that they're they're sitting right and again um, if they're not you can go ahead and add a little bit of super glue to them we'll tie in the other side here What I do now is I'll just take the wings and I'll start working them up. Once I have them pointed up, I'll hold on to them pretty tight and then come in with some nice tight wraps and hopefully that should get them to stay where I want them. Trim away the remainder of the fibers here. Just be careful not to cut your antenna. Alright, then you're going to pull it everything back here a little bit and we're going to come in with some very loose wraps just to kind of hold the deer hair uh, folded back. We're going to wind our way forward, pull the antenna back, make a couple loose wraps around the eye, 
come in with our whip finish. antenna back down make sure that they're playing flat and there you have it the caddis fly emerger uh, if you use any kind of floatant gel or desiccant powders it'll help keep the fly on top of the water for a bit um, if you don't have any kind of drag in your line if there's plenty of slack in there uh, it can stay afloat for a while uh, but there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like what you see, just go ahead and subscribe and I'll be posting these from time to time. And as always, thank you very much for watching my videos and good luck out there.